Hey guys, in the following pictures you see taken by Kit and Greg Porter back in 1968. This is the MV Rota. It was purchased for $37,000 by one of the Rota delegates. And it was used to transport um, goods from the other islands like Saipan, Tinian, back to Rota, uh, back and forth. But it only lasted one month. One month after its purchase on their return trip back from Saipan, the ship ran into a storm and ran into the cliffs or the reef on Rota. And this is where it's at right now. And it has been sunken um, into the reef. But while all this was going on, they were trying to build or drench the harbor for uh, ships to come in. But in the meantime, this one here is the MV Celeste, and this has also sunk. And many ships sunk in the, off the island of Rhoda. One of these ships here is a Korean ship that also sank off the coast of Rhoda. And uh, present day, this is the remains of it. So this is the Nanyo Kohatsu Kabushiki Keisha Sugar Mill on the island of Rhoda. This train was used for transporting the sugar cane and the coffee from the mountains down to the shoreline where the Japanese vessels would be waiting and they, they would bring the sugar cane to Saipan and Tinian and they would process it there. But as you can see that um, it is rusty, it is right near the ocean so it's rusty and uh, in the background you can see the le what's left of the tunnel and the meal so when they decided to go ahead and fix it up you know turn it to a museum they of course uh, had to paint it because like I said it's just right near the ocean and the ocean spray the salt you know ruins uh, metal right it rusts uh, but um yeah. Anyways, and this is uh, just an old picture that I found uh, doing a little research of the of the uh, Japanese company that was doing this. And this was an old stock photo too. So that ran between the mountains there on the island of Rhoda. And uh, choo choo! Now this was on Saipan. This is uh, the sugar meal that's on Saipan. Right now, the ones in Saipan you can't really find anymore. Now this one, guys, um, it's an old old photo of uh, some family there in Rhoda, but I just thought the car was gnarly. And um, our runways was really short, so we could only take the small planes. As time passed, they extended the runways, then we started getting bigger planes other than the Cessnas and the Cherokees. We started getting the Shorts 360s, Shorts 330s, and uh, the eventually they extended the runway to one mile, and we started getting the Boeing 747s. And uh, this is not another old family photo. I thought the car in the back was uh, pretty cool also. But this one is the best one of all. Guess who came to visit Rhoda? Yes, that is the Fred Flintstone. <laughs> uh, so um, it's made out of wood. And that yellow drum there, it's just, you know, got cement. And it really does look like the Flintstone. So that's Ashley on the driver's side. And uh, she said that she was on her way to bedrock. So thanks for watching, y'all.